at the present age, with its sudden enthusiasms, followed by apathy and indolence, is very near the comic. For those who understand the comic see quite clearly the comic is not where the present age imagines. Now satire is to do a little good and not cause immeasurable harm. Must be firmly based upon a consistent ethical view of life and natural distinction which announces the success of the moment. Otherwise the cure will be infinitely worse than the disease. <laughs> the really comic thing is an age such as this should try to be witty and humorous, but that is surely the last most acrobatic way out of the impasse. <laughs> for what is there for an age of reflection and thought to defy with humour? For being without piety or domesticity in everyday life is all lost all feeling for our Lord. <laughs> it's like selling one's breeches to buy a wig. <laughs> but supposing the things went so far, such as wit, that divine accident, which comes from the mysterious source of the inexplicable, such as not even the wittiest of men dares to say, tomorrow, but when it pleased the gods. But supposing that wit were to be transformed into its shabbiest contrary, a trivial necessity, so it became a profitable branch of trade to make up and buy up old and new witticisms. What an epigram on a witty age. 